Hello, fellow creatives. Today, we're going to take a look at my good friend Cabs' base on the Ragnarok Patreon server. So he worked on this, and he wasn't able to really join us in person, although you can hear his disembodied voice. So uh, he's there on his phone, at least. Uh, but uh, Karm is actually going to show us around. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, here we are. So this is Cabs' house. He's got a... Is that Karm, or is that a statue? Or who is that? Mm. That's a sonar. That's a sonar. Okay. <laughs> Cabs is not here in chat, I don't believe. He was, but he's not right now. So I guess it's sort of a free look sort of thing. I can kind of guide us through it. Okay. Cabs told me a bit about it. All right. Why don't you do um, that then? So on the side, we got um, Cabs started up his, his breeding, so to say, again. Okay. And he's got like a sort of little garage. All right. Um, this build was based off UTC's modern house, but Cavs really um, modified it to his taste, and okay. I think it came out absolutely wonderful. Yeah, it looks really cool. And by the way, Cavs, oh, uh, wow. if, if we miss anything, um, then after Karm's done, you can go ahead and let us know, and, and we'll go back and look at that stuff, all right? Not a problem. I just noticed, like, about six rock golems in the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's your base. <laughs> you chose it, mate. Live with it. But yeah, um, so Cabs uh, is living the Miami Vice lifestyle here. <laughs> so let's close that first. We can go in through his front door, rather, with his little mailbox over here. Okay. I love how everybody um, was on their way to the big door and you just closed it in our faces. Yeah, I wanted to show that at another point. I left it open though. But um, we got uh, Cabs did all the decorating, um, as far as I know, within the space, and I think it came out absolutely fantastic. He went with yes. more of a modernistic life or modernistic style. Mm -hmm. um, despite the RP decor and so on and so forth, he goes to core is a little more not as modern, but I think it came out still wonderful. The wood yes. blends really nice it. with the adobe and the stable wood. That's it does, solid. and he's painted the uh, interior support beams black, which actually helps with the yeah. modern look, for sure. And if we just go upstairs here quickly, That's we'll come up to some more living quarters. He's got his little okay. office set up. Glass stairs. Yep. How do you do that? that? The glass yeah, stairs? So well, glass plus ramp. glass okay. ramp. Yeah, that's an S plus glass ramp that basically you can oh. transform into stairs. Gotcha. And um, we have everything up here. And if you guys go up this little staircase, Cab's made a bathroom up there. You wear your head. You kind of have to crouch oh. to get in. Mm -hmm. But um, it's one way glass, so it looks kind of. It's a very interesting uh. look <laughs> when you look around. But um, also where you also with all of that, you can still see from there out the windows and he has a panoramic glass nice. window going back where his bed is. A bathroom and for the exhibition. That's really cool. cool. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you only knew. Why is that so <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, so, it's one way. Cabs' house yeah. is... Oh, oh. oh. Arno's attacking outside. Oh. Oh, boy. So we head back in and we're heading to Sorry. <laughs> you just. Sorry, Chris. I'll do it. <laughs> there you go. Dude, so they're they're on auto close. open, I think. Don't press E. Oh, they are? Mm, I don't think huh? so. No, they're not anymore. Okay. So heading through the reinforced door to the left, we're walking in the capsule workshop. Um. In, Ooh. I believe in UTC's this build, this was sort of a kind of half open garage, kind of like what I did with uh, Silver's house. But Cavs really modified this one to his taste, and it came out absolutely fantastic. Oh, I love the blueprint board. Yeah, and if you guys come upstairs, he has a lot of crafting tables for Eco's crafting tables. He Very has nice. his, blue, his wow. blueprints. It's real man cave, so to say. Very cool, oh, yeah. Cam. And basically, he made it so with this dinosaur gate, he can walk up straight to his to his old tables with his uh, with his gathering dinos and everything. He can just pull straight in and straight out. I'm very interested to see what Cabs' face will end up looking like in a little while because this is just a start and it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it looks really cool. All right, so anything really else nice. you'd like to tell and us about it, Cabs? A little homage to. Uh... To silver, if you look on by the S plus uh, smithy, there's a okay. shelf above it. There's a beer bottle on there, Crystal. <laughs> I appreciate that. The S plus <laughs> smithy. 
if anybody remembers my swamp base. Oh. It was like on the table thanks to silver. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Being a landscaper by trade, I tried to do as much natural landscaping as I could around outside before I went away for the two days. It looks really good, I think. I also like how you just integrated it right into the cliff face. Yeah, um, there is one more part, and oh, yeah, for that we have to we have to move a little bit through the dangerous stuff. Okay. Well, off of the cliff face, Chris, I took that off of your modern house build by the um, uh, waterfalls. Oh yeah. Okay, one more thing. Oh, the greenhouse. Yes. Exactly. Make a little pergola off to the left hand right, side to, too. Okay, I don't think those are golems. Yeah, this thing is definitely asking for mm. a bruise. <laughs> I can't wait to see if any rock golems decide to attack it. <laughs> <laughs> One rock through and it all just breaks. <laughs> so, I've unlocked the doors and we can now go in. Okay. And I'm pretty sure the greenhouse is very self-explanatory, seeing as we've seen it somewhere before. Yeah, yeah, it's been in one of my videos. Oh, you used the glass <laughs> but, stairs, very nice. But it does yeah, look made, absolutely fantastic. I made a couple of subtle different changes. Uh, color was one. I went yes. with black and green. Definitely love it when people customize things. And then I did add a couple of other spots where there wasn't floors. Um, mm -hmm. I added so I could put an extra crop plot down or an extra spot. Good idea. There's also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when you're by the house, there is a pergola set up. All right, let's go take a look at that really quick. A couple of little benches and nothing too fancy. It looks really nice at night because I use some of the hanging lights. All right, here's your pergola. Hey, you put some lights up. Very cool. Open to the uh, outside. That's pretty. Just don't fall off the edge. Mm -hmm. Edge? Me? What? Ah! <laughs> Bye, Chris. Oh, no! Bye-bye! Bye, Chris. Nice knowing you. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the admin elevator. Give me a sec here. There's that. There it is. The it's is Iron there. Man! <laughs> <laughs> Did he marry Poppins himself back up I here again? I married Poppins <laughs> myself yeah. back up. <laughs> In the most delightful way. So really quick, just wanted to give a shout out to Josh Sidex and give him an official welcome to the Patreon creatives. Hope you've been enjoying your stay here um, and I hope you continue to enjoy it. I'll see you around hopefully this weekend. Um, I will be streaming live at uh, at 11 a.m. Pacific and that's 6 p.m. UTC. And we'll be doing some base tours in both Ragnarok and Olympus. So hope to see everybody there who's watching this. If you don't want to miss it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then click the little bell notification icon next to it. And I will see you next time. And in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.